Come on now. Come on now. There it is. Well, I don't know what that was all about. It's been a long time since we've crashed the stream. The heck? What the heck, man? Couldn't tell you the last time. Ever since we switched internet, I don't think we've crashed a stream yet. Have we? Have we? I don't know. I don't know. I will wait for you to find me. I will wait for you to find me. I hope. Come, find me, my children. Find me, my boys. Uh, delete. Delete forever. Don't know what that's all about. There we go. I'm back. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How you doing? How you doing? All right. I accidentally started too. I don't know. I don't know. Mike Reese, you're not really late. It's fine. We broke the stream. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine, dude. We're professionals. I'm a professional. It's okay. Everybody's fine. We're back. We're back. I don't know what that was. I don't know what happened. Uh, it's been a minute since we've lost contact. Midstream. It's been a hot minute. Third time's charm. Three times charm. Yeah, I tried to start a second one, and then I just had to force close everything and start a third one. So, sorry. Sorry for the confusion. You yeah, know? You Yeah, Brandon, it's probably your fault, dude. I bet you it's your fault. Archer's in stock. If if you want an archer, use my Tactile Knife Co. link. Uh, their new knife is on its way to me. I am pumped. I am jazzed. And I am jacked. Cannot wait. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Let me tell you. But there's the tactile affiliate link. Use it and abuse it. Archer's in stock. Go pick you one up. I love my archer to death. I, I just adore it. Ten bucks I'm already demonetized? Uh, Not yet. You yeah, know, not yet. No, still good. And the other one got remonetized already, so we're all right. We're doing okay. I'm aroused in multiple kinds of frustrated and like, always it's your fault. You're welcome. I do it for you, Marty. Only you. Anyway, wow, Brian. Thanks, pal. Appreciate the support, bro. Uh, anyway, back to where we were. We were just doing a little nap shopping. Um, that, Luff Con that Concepts RWB is really tickling my pickle here. Uh, Micro Stitch, is it aluminum, though? Is it aluminium? This girl is big. See? That's why I'm kind of glad I didn't pick one up. I don't know what Microtech's obsession with massive knives is lately, but I'm sick of it. How much How much would I make on that? How much is it? 600 bucks? 10%? I think. I'll check. It's either 5% or 10%. Either way. That's a fat stack for a poor knife boy like me. Uh, it's either 5% or 10%. I can't remember. Just be happy we're here. I know. I'm, I'm always happy you're here. What is going on here? Are these OG Lexan scales? Dude. Marty. I need Lexan scales for something, dude. I don't know what. I don't know what I need them for. But I need them. What do you make scales for, Martin? Hook a brother up. Papa wants a little Lexan in his life. Eight seventy-five for a Norseman? Is that good? Is that a good price? I like the pattern. I like the geometric pattern. That's nice. I approve. Oh, is this addicted to blades? Yeah, I could tell with the green screen situation going on. Yeah, I get it. I got it. Eight seventy-five. Well. It doesn't seem like a terrible price. It could just be me. 100 bucks for a P3. Uh, yeah, sure, dude. Great knife. Killer knife. Big fan. Uh, big fan. I prove. Anyway, Sax. I, I owe Sax Cobra a Tinkly Bells for the last dono. Thank you again for the... <laughs> you didn't have to donate again. I saw your last one. Thank you. <laughs> That's sick. I like the Anno job a lot. The, the kind of fade to purple Anno job. It's clean. 100 bones. I'm all here for it. I know it's a little bit more than what it costs, but that's a great knife for 100 bucks. What else? What else? Debo Buzz rare mods? What's so rare about it? Mm. 
Marty, the issue is you don't make scales for any knives that I want. I don't want a Dimco. I don't like them. I think they're ugly and the detent sucks. You know what I mean? No thanks. Hard pass, matter of fact. You know? I don't need that in my life. Just for some clear scales. Dude, yeah, Marty, make some little temperance scales. <laughs> Would you do me a kindness? Would you do that for me? 275 is not bad. This was what, three something when it came out? I love the buzz. Made by Best Tech. Interesting Anno job. Looks like somebody kind of just blew a load on it and then anodized it. You know, I like the vibe. I like it. The Deca, your Mini RSK. The Mini RSK is not mine. That's a loner. That's a loner, bub. Just a little old loner. I take it you're not going to go live Sunday then? What Sunday? Easter? Of course I'm going to go live Sunday. Wow. There's Saxy Poo. Jesus was the first zombie. He ate the heads off of peeps upon his rising. La la lol, aubergine. <laughs> Tinkly bell sax, thank you man. <laughs> you heard? What's up Ron, how you doing man? Luck knives, look man, I, I switched internet providers, I upgraded to the maximum level. Like what else can I do? I think that was, a, my computer was just like, no I'm done. I think it was the actual streaming software crashing, not the internet going out. Because everything else still worked. Luck knife. Someone buy my... Yeah, someone should buy his stuff. Uh, Tor Merchant for 175 Yeah, Tor Chasm. Chasm. It's Chasm for 130 <laughs> 135 for a Militol. Banger. Great price. About 20 bucks off retail. 370 for a Mini Sweeney's. Too damn much. LC Blades Edge. Uh, I did. I've got two. Uh, that are that are kind of in the works. One, ideally, pre-order will be this year. And I'm hoping to have it delivered by the end of the year. Yes, sir. Uh, second batch of prototypes is in the works. Made some changes. I have the earliest prototype, and I love it. It just wasn't perfect. It wasn't good enough for me to charge somebody money for. You know what I mean? If I'm going to put my mustache on a knife, it's got to be, it's got to be flawless. Have you thought about designing your own knife? Yes, sir. Y the answer is yes. Tinkly bells. Thank you, man. Uh, and it's delightful. And I can't wait. It's been in the works. I designed it three years ago. Um, but uh, the second run that we do will probably be a budget knife. I'm hoping we make enough on the, on the first one that I can just do a drop for the second one. Because I know people are burnt out on pre-orders. Unfortunately, the first one's got to be a pre-order. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Uh, what do we have? Wingman EDC for 300. Brian Brown Jaeger V2 for three. Not bad. 225 for the LMAX RS Chaos. Not bad. 275 for the Model 2 Warney. I need one. I don't need one. I just really want one. Is that centering off? Or is that just the picture? Why does that centering look terrible? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, added skiffs. All right, that's probably what happened. You added skiffs and screwed up the centering. Gotcha. Pre-orders are less than ideal. I know, K-Whale, but I don't have 60 grand, 80 grand or whatever it would cost to just buy the knives outright. You know what I mean? Someday. No, probably. When am I ever going to have 60 grand liquid cash? Don't I'm going to die poor. fist a taco when you can kiss mark a hole. Life advice from a fluffy trucker. <laughs> words to live by. <laughs> words, words to live by. Uh, tingly bells. <laughs> Mamma mia! I don't. Yeah, there you go. That was a little delayed, but whatever. Uh, what do we have? Bad habits, mofo for two six five. Not bad. Max Ace capsule. I definitely want to check out, but I don't know. Call me Max Ace. Call me up. Uh, this is a rebranded AliExpress knife, and I gotta tell you, it's amazing. For $49, full titanium frame lock, S35V and blade. Yeah. Yeah, I have this exact knife, but in purple from a total... It's from Defcon Knives. It's just a rebranded AliExpress knife. It's amazing. It's amazing for $49. 
So there you go. If you're in the market for a big, ridiculous frame lock flipper, 49 bones, go for it. Get you one. Oh, here's a blade. Here's the blade binge link for you again. A chunky Pokemon knife just sounds like a blast to me, Bill Bobby, personally. You yeah, know, it's right up my alley. What else? What else? Kubi RDF. That's their button lock. I need to check out a Kubi button lock. I haven't I haven't uh, tested them yet against all the other ones that I love so much. You know you did good when Cole of all people has no words. <laughs> yeah. You got me. Ketchup, cats up, ketchup, ca cats up, ketchup, cats up. Mike Reese, are you having a stroke? We'll probably do them for the Manix. I'll get some for the Manix. Uh, maybe. Yeah, why not? Screw it. What else? What else? Max Ace Hephaestus. These knives are so outrageous. I want to review them. I want to check them out. But I'm not spending, a, you know, 500 to to $1,000 on something that I'll never carry. I just want to review them. So if anybody has any of these crazy Max Ace knives that they want to let me borrow, that'd be sick. That'd be sick nasty, and I'd really appreciate it. Uh, Spyco Smock, is this the, uh, S, okay, S30V, meh, 200 bucks, meh, meh. I love the Smock, don't get me wrong, I have two of them, I adore them. That mini Axon's still just chilling, tempting me, whispering sweet nothings in my ear. Fostied Corsair, great knife. Bridgeport 395, absolute banger. Keen's a banger. Big Idea Design, PP Ultim Fountain Pen, right up my alley, but... You know, I need more pens like I need a hole in the head. Another hole in the head. Yo, dude, the Yo Jumbo. This is crazy. 500 bucks for Yo Jumbo. Back to working and lurking. Good, good for you. 10 bucks, crazy roach. You have a great day, man. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. It broke again? No, it didn't. No, it did not. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. We're good. We're fine. Anyway, this is uh, wild. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's like my computer's lagging for some reason. My computer's really struggling right now. What do I have open? Hold on. Hold the phone. Let me pull up the old task manager. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not even using 30% of my memory or my CPU. And I'm barely touching my uh, my network. Like my necessary network speeds. Hell, I don't know, dude. Hell, I don't know. Weird. Lord Needham, that's more than fair. That's more than fair. Um, anyway, I just don't think 475, 475 is a fair price. I mean, aftermarket clip... What we know how much that cost, especially RGT, and are the scales titanium? Okay, yeah, I don't know. It is sick. I love the Yojumbo. I sold mine a long time ago, but I did love it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Six hundred bucks for a Tonto Spidey? I don't know, bro. I don't know about that. S thirty V. The Drunken for four twenty five still chilling, man. That's a great pickup killer pickup and the uh, forest v2 you know worth it worth every penny at 210 what else what else what else you got for me internet ppqq love adorable mrs strider called me this morning i feel special what'd you do did you piss her off or something talking to, isn't her name melissa Twenty-five bucks for the Crag Kickstop? Sure, dude. For twenty-five bucks? I ca I can't go. F I cannot feed me and Kara at McDonald's for twenty-five bucks. I can't get two wa uh, two Whopper, two Big Mac meals with large cokes for twenty-five bucks. Absolutely, absolutely, lutely, man. What else? What else? Artform Saber, like I said, absolute home run for one hundred fifty bucks, even at full retail, which is like one eighty, one eighty-five. Worth every damn penny. What else? What else you got for me? 
Two knife, big belly, love. 120 bucks, not bad. Demonetize this. For fa for fa for fa for you smell like beef foffa. Tinkly bells. Thank you, Rawhead. I know Real 210. We realized, uh... Ron Dobbins, what's up? We realized that uh, it didn't make a difference in the very beginning. I was like demonetized before the music even stopped. And the music, I pay for the for the rights to that music. So I have full rights to it. I've had somebody um, claim a song before that I got off of that service. And I reached out to the service and they're like, that's wrong. We'll deal with it. And they fixed it. So, uh, PP Para 3 scales, you can be just like me. These are exactly like the ones I have. If you're in the market for some PP pair of three scales, get in there, dude. Get in there. 70 bones. Not bad. It is just a couple pieces of piss plastic, but worth it. For me personally, definitely worth it. The G&G Hawk shortcut, huh? Pretty pretty rowdy. That's pretty that's pretty rowdy. I just can't. I do, Look, maybe this is me. I just can't. $550 for a utility knife. You know, I just don't know that I can do it. I don't know that I have it in me. You know, just don't, I'm going to eat some Starburst. I just don't know that I have it in me. Dude, Ron, how good, did you, is it, do you have it in hand? It's so good. The two knife shocker is so, so good. Yeah, people do that. It's like a like a scam people run on YouTube where they'll just claim the rights to a song even if they don't have it. It's fucking dumb. <clears throat> Starburst are so good. Oh, I love Starburst. <laughs> no, this is not Piss Ultim, but we did look at this. This, like, tactical murder scythe. I'm here for it. Yeah, the Shocker's amazing value for money, man. Under 300 bucks. I love everything about that knife. Woo! Almost choked on a Starburst. Didn't even know that was possible. Picked up a 229 Redencion for 200 bucks. Solid pickup, man. McSquirgle. <laughs> Great name, first off. Try to say it looks like he would make a good cop. You know, I don't know that I would. I feel like you have, there's a certain, you have to be a certain level of asshole. Even the really nice cops. You've got to, you've got to have a little dog in you, you know. And I don't. I just don't, you know. I'm a lover. Not a fighter. I'd end up fucking... I don't know. Someone would steal my gun and shoot me with it, probably. I don't... <laughs> um, I also don't want those hours. You know? They'd put me on night shift. I, it just wouldn't do well. What are you gonna do? I'd, I'd become dirty. I'd start, I'd start smuggling coke for the mob and stuff. You know, it just wouldn't... The mob. Because we have that around here. Canadian Mountie? I could be a Mountie. I could pull that off. I think I could... <laughs> I think I could pull that off. Did you see the smooth PPQSP coming out? We did, Sax Cobra. I'll open that up. I'll pull that up. Uh, traditional bot? Wow. Tr Tradio. Trad Please. Please. Uh, do they have it listed yet? There it is. So here you go. Here's your uh, C. Risner link. That's the affiliate link. If it's an exclusive like these, code Tristate TPK will get you 10% off. Or not 10%, 5 bucks off. Sorry, 5 bucks off. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm here for it, dude. Just what I need. Another penguin and more piss, but I'm so here for it. Price 150. S90V? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Absolutely absolutely so it's basically stop it's the same build as the jig tie in gold same build they just have piss piss handles pp handles ah yes the cincinnati mob yeah they're animals dude 
Same build, same blade, same same everything. Same pocket clip, just Ultim scales. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Hollow Ground S90V, sign me up. Sign me up! Uh, where? Where? There's a Sweeney? Dude, don't pay more than retail for the Sweeney or the Mini Sweeney. Don't do it. Just don't do it. The Sweeney is a $330 knife. Same with the Mini Sweeney. $325, $330. Don't pay more than that. Please. It's it's a great knife, but you shouldn't be paying $40, 50 bucks over retail. He's going to make more. <laughs> it's fine. Relax. Looks like the CDC outbreak won't have backing on Kickstart. That's such a bummer, man. Kick, it's a great knife. The outbreak is a banger. It's a banger. They've had such terrible luck on uh, on Kickstarter, man. I don't know what it is. Um, how am I liking the Am I Right? I don't have an Am I Right. Um, I played with it at Blade Show Texas. I, I had a lot of fun with it. But I didn't buy one. It's a big boy. Big old meaty cleaver. We still have some bangers hanging around from uh, Brian Needham. Lord Needham's got the Ox Lantra for 200 bucks. Quiet Carry Drift Textured Titanium. For what two two twenty five? These are all great pickups. The feel good jack for one ninety five. It's like a hundred and eighty bucks off. Knife cannot. You have a great day, man. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, dude, McSquirtle. I agree. I love a a r r p m nine. I love it so much. One of my favorite budget seals. So easy to strop up and hone back to life. Takes a killer edge, holds it for a decent amount of time. Good stainless properties. I love AR PM9. What are we doing? Somebody buy this under two hundred bucks for a feel good jack. I got a I got bro price on it, and I still paid like three hundred three hundred bucks for it. Same with the under a hundred bucks for this guy. That's sixty bucks off almost, fifty five bucks off retail. Brand new, full hollow grind, full hollow on that slip joint. That's a big boy. These are great prices from our boy Lord Needham. The, these four, all four are bangers. <clears throat> bangers. What else? Tonto. Slimfoot. Uh, the manual Slimfoot, one of my all-time faves. Special place in my heart. RS Chaos for 205 Not bad. That's 45 bucks off. It's got a little love on it, but whatever, man. That knife was made to be used. <laughs> Uh, T's two cents. Yeah, yeah, definitely a slip joint. But it's one of my favorite slip joints. The feel good, Jack. That is the pink one, dude. The picture doesn't look like it, but it's the uh, bazooka pink. It's the bazooka pink camo. This is the pink one, Titanium Justin. There's your chance. Now's your chance. Major Powell, congrats, man. Nice. The Militol's so good. God, for the money, it's crazy good. S Tau for 220 and Van Axe, love. Love my S Tau. What else we got? What else you got for me? Rob Johnson, Cypress still chilling. Mini Tau for 125, not bad. At all. Another RS Chaos. Dude, you guys got me wanting to play with my RS Chaos. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I love this thing. Look at this big, look at this big stupid thing. d money. It's a button-actuated liner lock. Kind of like a backwards uh, compression lock kind of deal. Well, it works just like the smock. Dude, cash money. The noise? Oh! Oh, it's so loud! There's a bunch of these on Blade Binge up for grabs. Get on it! Uh, Doug Ritter, I have one of these. I have one of these right here. On loan for review. It's a freaking beast. 140 bucks, American made by Hogue. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's a great price. Whoops, wrong button. Wrong button. LMAX makes me Randy as well. You're not alone. 
Uh, another great, affordable, high-end slip joint, full hollow grind, QSP Hedgehog. That's the exact version I would get to. 145. Get on it. Uh, Bill, Billy Barry. I have it, and I fucking love it. The Phantom? I've been using it. <laughs> I love this thing, dude. Stupid thin hollow grind. 20 CV, titanium scales, stainless liners, studs, and a front flipper, top flipper. Love. 205. Available now at Mr. Mr. Designs website, whatever that is. Mr. Mr. Designs.com. Love the Phantom. I've been using the hell out of this knife. Contour titanium too. Look, pal. Look, Chief. I'm sorry, Bill Bobby. Gideon's channel messed his chaos up by spine whacking it. Wow. Big, big surprise. We're surprised by this? Yes. He abused a knife. He did something with it that you're not supposed to do with it. And that's what happens. What are we do what are we doing? What is happening? Stop spine whacking your knives. I'm gonna get t-shirts made. I'm gonna run a whole presidential goddamn campaign. Knock it off. Dude, this thing's a tank. And it lock it's got a liner lock. So that just means you shouldn't spine whack your fucking knives, dude. You like it. It froze? It's not frozen. Don't lie to me. You're lying. We're not frozen. I think you're having issues now, Meredith. It's not me. It's not me, it's you. What's your thought on Tucson knives? I think Tucson's are an amazing way to check out a bunch of different designs in high-end materials and not go completely bankrupt. I love Tucson, man. Exactly, Paul. How you doing, Paul? Good to see you, man. Stuck in traffic trying to get to Alabama's 65 South dead stop. Enjoy that, man. Enjoy that. Uh, S110V PM2, PM3, pair 3. Sign me up. I love Spyderco's S110V. You think I'm frozen? I'm not frozen. Let it go. I'm not frozen. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Relax. Um, what else? What else? Micro Shrike, three and a quarter. Bastide Raccoon for 40 bucks. Love it. What else you got for me? Huh? Anything? Anything we haven't seen? We've seen it all, I think. It's a little bit of piss. A little smattering of piss. Two Sons are my fave. I love Two Sons. Uh, there was a period where I was all over them. Call my fingernails bruised from Spidey Flick in the new Padre. Nice. That just means you're doing it right. Like this one, for example. I, I want one of these. 75 bucks. Titanium frame lock. D2. But a really tall flat grind. It's basically a budget Paisan. For $75. Like this is the kind of stuff that Two Sun is like. I just love Two Sun for it. Just gives you gives you access to some crazy shit that you wouldn't otherwise be able to afford. You know what I mean? Even now, there's a lot of two sons where I'm like, ooh, tempting. Tempting. Giant Mouse Nazca for 150 Sure, dude. Uh, tease two cents. What do you mean, bro? This is Blade Binge. There's your affiliate link. Get in there, bro. Uh, it's basically like eBay or like that subreddit or the blade forums all put into one it's just knives and edc stuff uh super easy to list super easy to buy everything's insured everything's guaranteed money back guarantee on everything it's like a zero risk secondary marketplace for edc gear 
How's their D2? I mean, experience precision, none of their blade steals are heat treated that well at Tucson. But at the end of the day, who cares? Who cares? Neither is we and Civivi stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if if we put out a titanium frame lock in M390, it'd be like 300 bucks. But the same knife at Tucson's like 100 bucks. You know what I mean? I'll take a softer steel for a crazy design. Why not? Why the hell not? Shiro Quantum for 750 750 Another Koenig. There's Koenig Mini Arius. 995 Bang Array. It's a cool looking knife. Matthew Christensen, right? Yeah, boy. Our boy, Matty. Sax Cobra, congrats, bro. It's such a great knife. Uh, ABW Model 1 for 275 175 for a lander? I'm sorry. What? Is it gold-plated? What are we doing? 175 bucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a Best Tech Keen, bro. A Keen 2. Nope, hold on. Hold on. Bladenshop.com. Pretty sure they have a Keen on here. And you get 10% off. Best Tech Keen, there you go. They got all three versions, pal. Four versions, five, six versions. Code TRISTATE10, get you 10% off. Here's your link. Boop. There you go, Mimo. You're welcome. You're oh so welcome. Don't mention it. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Lone Star, more drama. I hand-painted my lander. Spray-painted that bitch. Uh, so the cheapest version's 271, but you get 27 bucks off with the code Tristate 10. There you go. Pick pick your color, pick your poison. So what is that? 250 something? 243. That's your price, pal. 243. You're welcome. I'm here to help. I'm here to help you spend your money, pal. <laughs> oof? What do you mean, oof? It's a lot of knife. It's a massive knife. I, I don't think you understand just how much titanium is involved. Um, I think... Whoa. Hello? Not used. No, not used. But this is sick. I'm here for this. I don't know why what it is, why it's here, but I want one. Ron Dobbins, I try my best. What are you? D2 for damn near $300. I know these are American made and stuff. And I know that's a lot of machining. Oof. Yeah, no. Lunch, just a dinner here in South Africa. Johan, what's up, dude? Pretty wild. Pretty absurd. Is it? Is it baseball bat size? Does it give me uh, 15 inches overall? I mean, solid. You know? <laughs> Jesus. There's another one. I guess there's a lot of buyer's remorse on the shortcut. Because that's two we've seen. You know? I, I get it. I would have a t shit ton of buyer's remorse. Is that a sawtooth utility blade? Hello? Interesting. Alright. I just think people are regretting that purchase. Oh! Wait, wasn't this sold not too long ago for like 200 bucks? Well, I think it was, it was one of these. I do love this version. Couple of Kaiser Genies for 45 bucks. Bangers. Little budget bangers. Exarch, sadly retired. RIP. One of my all-time favorite uh, front flippers. 
50 bones? Yeah, you bet your tits. 275. Oh, that's not terrible. 170. I can't get over this. 175 for a lander? What are we doing? How much alcohol was involved in that listing? No remorse for your shortcut? That's a full serrate utility blade to use, sir. <laughs> There's that full dress squall. 440. Handmade with love by our boy Luck Knives. It's sick. It's super spicy. It's so spicy. Made with absolute love and care and attention to detail. Um, what else? Anything else crazy, wacky, gnarly, gnarly? I mean, Cold Steel Colossus. I think that classifies. Someday, someday we'll all have a deadlock. Someday. As soon as Microtech releases theirs, it's so good. And I think it's better looking than the Hawk Knives stuff. Yuchla Dakia. Okay. 375 for a subvert, man. Cheap. Arcona Nettle. I gotta tell you, 350 not a bad price. Now that I've handled my um, Arcona Buran, build quality on these is amazing. 350 is not bad at all. I'll stick with my Milwaukee same. I'm a fastback boy. We all know it. You all know it. Uh, Golden Design Works uh, standard. Beautiful knife beautiful 500 bucks for a relative i know it's in magna cup but that's still too much um, 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 um and i think he's doing another batch of relatives in magna cut i believe i want to say brian brown raptor seems like a bit much probably full retail merkin ultimatum huh that's cool looking i want to review one but Fuck that. 425. And there, dude, there's another Luck Knives. 220. For a handmade American chef's knife. That is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Stunning, even. I approve, dude. Got another Apex. I kind of miss my Apex. By kind of, I mean I do. I miss it. It's been getting kicked around the Discord like a cheap whore. Another Apex. Great knife. All things considered, even though the pocket clip's kind of sharp and pointy, it's one of the one of my favorite all-time sharp by design knives. Caliber's amazing. The caliber is gorgeous. Love that knife. Uh, Nimble Dub for 300. Uh, that's about right, I'd say. He needs to make... I think he is going to make more of these with hollow grinds. I think that's that's in the works. I don't know if it's going to be this year, though. At some point in the near future, though. Uh, damn, we're getting down in the depths of uh, Blade Binge today. Down in the depths. Bowie tie, if you're in the market for an absolutely massive flipper-only bolster lock, there you go. There, there it is, Rapture. Good old Bowie tie. Shiro Quantum for $745. 400 bucks for a small Sabenza. Urban Nessie. God, I need one. I miss that knife. I don't have anything with this blade shape in my collection anymore. Uh... I need to get my mitts on one. What the hell are you? Ew. Ew. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, well, the Bowie tie's awesome. It's a big boy, though. It's a big, beefy bastard. That is not pleasant to look at. I gotta tell you, like, it just looks like somebody took bites out of it. Like, some animal got a hold of it and took bites out of it. And this looks like a nightmare to sharpen this edge termination. I... And it's almost two grand? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Ooh, this reminds me. Um, um, of who I really am. Uh, <laughs> we gotta go to, uh, to Instagram real quick. Get some knife news going. Um, fuck, my camera's always in my way. More saved. Help, help, 
Why? Why am I, why am I yawning? Here you go. Little teaser. What the hell? I follow Boost Blades, don't I? Am I on the right account? Yeah. The fuck, dude? The uh, Boost Blades. It's been a minute since we've heard from him, but he's got a new model coming out. It's a. It's basically the Boost Blade Smoke, ish, thin, slim gentleman's carry knife, front flipper only. Uh, with a warney, with a full flat ground warney, and I'm oh so horny for that warney. This is the only picture they have up so far. Uh, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm here for it. Uh, Excuse me. Made by Best Tech. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, I'm so here for it. So here for it. I want that in Tiffany Blue. I'll be a happy boy. I'll be a very happy boy. Sign me up. What do we think? Thoughts? Thoughts on the new boost? On the new boost? I know everybody's working right now. That's why you're really quiet. But you make me feel like I'm alone sometimes. <laughs> Taylor Cortez, what's up, big dog? How you doing, man? Robo Stevio. Yeah, we started one and then it got farted up. So we started another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here for it. I want one. Uh, I was making sure I didn't miss anything else. Nope, I didn't. We're good. Whoops. Got your first piss knife? What is it? Ben Malone, what's up, big dog? How you doing, man? Jay Wiz, how you doing? How you doing? Hey. Some knocks? Trying to get knocked up, bro? Art form catalyst, bring it back. Bring it back with a spidey hole or thumb studs. I'll buy another one. I'd buy another one. What else? What else? Dude, MTech. The toolbox button lock knife. The MTech uh, MT1022. It's for $10. It's an aluminum manual flipper button lock from MTech. And I got to tell you, it doesn't suck. The blade steel is aluminum foil, but all in all, the knife doesn't suck. Microtech LUDT, tan or green? Ooh. <sighs> Mine's like that weird pink flesh color. Um, I don't know. If you live in the desert, get green. If you live where there's grass, get tan. Hope that helps. Anyone know if 70 bucks is a good price on an Emerson Wave Delica? It definitely looks used. Well, let's find out. Hello? Hundred and six is the retail. Chief. So sure. Why not? It is VG ten though, and I don't like VG ten at all. Not even a little bit. Imtech is S tier. God tier knives. Absolutely. I sadly live in Louisiana. Looks like tan. So you get like, just go with tan. Can't go wrong with tan. You can always dye it a different color uh, later. You know what I mean? Kevin Smith and Knives. Get you one, dude. These are in stock right now. It's so good. The Phantom. It's uh, very much like a rock wall sized EDC. But this blade, man, this blade was just made to slice. It was just born, I, you can tell I've been using it. It's just born to cut stuff. Damn near a full hollow grind, full height hollow grind. Action's money, deep carry wire clip, carries like a dream, and it's reversible. It's a great knife, 205 bucks. I like you very much. Sushi tacos with chopsticks? Bro, bring them to me. Loco, what's up, dude? Thanks for popping in. Just got my Hinder Eclipse in the mail today. I'm so stoked. It's been a grail of mine for a long time. The Eclipse, huh? I don't know what that looks like. Like all the Hinders? <laughs> and it's spelled wrong. Psh. Psh. Hinder Eclipse. Uh, flipper only, huh? Or their studs? Oh, uh, well, both. Yeah. You know? I don't hate it. I don't hate it. He takes Sezzle now? That's nice of him. 
Thanks, Rick. It's not a bad looking knife. Congrats, man. Getting a new grill is always good. Always feels good. I think I'll pass. I just have an Emerson Wave knife in my collection. I mean, don't have a Wave. Funland? Oh, what now? What? Well, how much is just a Spyderco Delic? By the way, do me a huge favor. If you're ever shopping on Instagram, massive favor. Click that link. It takes you to my storefront, but anything you shop and anything you purchase, it helps me out. They're doing like bonuses. So if we hit a certain amount every month, they give me like a little bonus. It's not a ton. It's like 30 bucks, 50 bucks if a certain amount of items are shipped. So if you're getting groceries, if you're getting paper towels, garbage bags, use my link. It all counts. It all counts. I'd really, really appreciate it. It's linked in every single video. Uh, it's on my link tree or my link.bio on my Instagram. I try to post it everywhere, but just a little little thing for you. I've added a bunch to my storefront as well. Um, more flashlights. Um, I've added sunglasses that I like. I've added uh, some more camera equipment to like the equipment I use page. Ow. Updated a couple of the knife listings on there. But please, please hit up that Amazon link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps me out. I make like 1% or less than 1%. So those little bonuses will be nice. Not on Instagram, on Amazon. I'm sorry. Did I say Instagram? On Amazon. Yeah. Sezzle will get you in trouble, dude. Paul, what's up, man? What steel for blasting through cardboard? You know, it's a good question. Tinkly Bells, first off. Love you, dude. Um, it really doesn't... The steel doesn't matter all that much. And what's up, dude? Um, uh, Jason Reed, congrats on the scarab, bro. Nice. Um, MPG, how you doing? Um, it doesn't really matter the steel all that much. For me, personally, uh, uh, 10V, not, not 10V, 15V, an S110V on a Spyderco Manix. Lightsabers. They just, ne you never have problems. They'll never go dull. Like, the blade will get dirty, and you'll think it's dull, and then you'll clean off the blade, and it was actually just, like, gunk was slowing it down, like tape gunk and stuff. So, S110V or 15V from Spyderco. Can't go wrong. Um, and honestly, on any of the knives, but especially the Manix too, it's just super comfy to cut up a bunch of cardboard with. You know, anything with a good thin hollow grind is just going to eat through cardboard. k 390s goaded. I think K390 on the little temperance is about as good as it gets. But so K390, S110V, 15V. Those are the three like best steals I've had the best, you know, experiences with. Breaking down just an absolute shit ton of cardboard. Um, but anything else, you know, D2 is great for breaking down cardboard as long as it's a good cutting geometry. It's good, good and thin behind the edge. What am I showing to the chat? I don't know what I'm showing to the chat. Um, but a good hollow grind, man. Like the S90V on this will be just fine. Super thin behind the edge. Just glides right through cardboard. Same with the, uh, same with this. This is 20 CV. This full hollow, dude. Like, it's not even there. It's like the cardboard's not even there. Um, S90V is also excellent. But again, it has more to do with the blade shape, that, that behind the edge thickness, and then how the whole geometry of the blade works out. You can have something that's really thin behind the edge that still, like, isn't all that great at cutting cardboard. Because it'll get, it'll start really thin, but it'll get thick too fast. Does that make sense? I hate it when it gets thick too fast. It's all about geometry, baby. Geometry matters so much more than than the steel. Rex forty five. I don't have any Rex forty five in my collection, but I've heard good things. Same with crew wear. Um, a lot of the tool steels are really good. Uh, M four, three V, four V, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you're ever shopping on Amazon, hit up my link. I'd really appreciate it. Get, give me a little $30, $50 bonus. I'll probably just use that money to buy knives to give away anyway. So, um, there you go. There you go. I gotta go, but you will be in my thoughts all day. Ron, thank you, man. Thanks for stopping in, brother. Magna Cut's okay. I gotta be, I gotta be straight up with you. Um, when we were cleaning out the basement, I started with... Uh, the Archer, which is Magna Cut at 63 to 64 HRC. Really well heat treated. 
and it really didn't hold up that well. Uh, that knife's got great geometry, really, really tall flat grind, relatively thin behind the edge, and it was buttery smooth through cardboard for a couple of hours, but it just tapered off so fast. It, like, it just hit its limit, it ran into a wall, and then it just wasn't cutting nearly as well anymore. Whereas K390 never gave up, 15V never gave up, uh, S110V literally never gives up. Magna Cut didn't last all that long. And I purposefully used the Archer because I knew the heat treat was excellent. You know? Kind of bummed me out. So Magna Cut is a great all-round steel, but it's not some kind of like hyper steel that has amazing edge retention. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Compared to S110V, 15V, K390, these steels uh, that are like purpose-built for edge retention first, like Magna Cut doesn't even come close. I've had D2 last longer than well heat treated Magna Cut, which is kind of crazy. Magna Cut's just like the ultimate stainless, where it's ultra, ultra rust resistant. It takes a really good edge. It's easy to sharpen. It's easy to work with. Takes a good heat treat. But it just doesn't hold its edge all that long. It's kind of uh, upsetting to me. Chuck it. Yeah, it's a Swiss Army knife. Magna Cut is the Swiss Army knife blade steel, right? It's good at a bunch of things. But it's not amazing at anything. If it's the one thing that it's probably best at is just rust resistance, honestly. So it's basically like a pimped up, plumped up Van Axe or um, uh, like LC two hundred N. Right, exactly. It's an all rounder. Magna Cut's an amazing all rounder. But if we're talking simply for destroying cardboard, you got a lot of great options out there. Uh, Jason Reed, I've heard it's pretty soft, like maybe 61, 60 to 62, I think, is their spread on it. It's really not that great on the M390 MK. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, trying to think of some other steals that I've just been like blown away by. I would say S90V, but I haven't really used and abused too many S90V blades. Um, maybe I need to. I was, no, I was beaten up on the, um, the Dylan Mallory, oh, uh, what the fuck is that called? There's one on, on Blade Binge for like 200 bucks. The Forest V2, super thin behind the edge, full flat grind S90V, made by Artisan Cutlery, with an, like an okay heat treat. And it never gave up. I was using that for like a day and a half. Just cutting cardboard. Anyone know how to change the alert tones? I have not tried Teravantium. I need to. I, it's on the list. Now that I have K390, I need to get some Teravantium in the collection. I gots to. I gots to. M4 is okay. I've never really... I, you know, I think the only knife I have that I've really like beat up on in M4 is the... Um, Spyderco smock with the titanium coating on it. And uh, the geometry held forever because it's super thin behind the edge. But it I just don't remember it rocking my world, if that makes sense, as far as longevity goes. M4 is more tough. It's more about toughness than, than edge retention. Are you just cut yourself with a walnut? How? <laughs> with the, like the, the nut? That comes out of a tree? Yeah, wow. How how does one injure themselves with a walnut? Uh Um, yeah, we do. Ben Malone, yeah, we do. We know what it is. It's um Oh shit. I know what it is. It's somewhere. Swiss Army Knife Blade Steel. There it is. Figured it out. Thanks, Google. It's X55 CRMO14. Martin Siddick. Martin Siddick. Stainless steel alloy used for the cutting blades. It's optimized for high toughness and corrosion resistant. Composition of 50% chromium, silicon, carbon, molybdenum. All right. And a uh, little manganese for joint health. <laughs> D in there. There you go. 1.4110. 1, 1. That's what it is. 
There it is. I was not looking for this. This is the answer I was looking for. The 1.4110. The Civivi Walnut? What the hell's the Civivi Walnut? Wood. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Funland? The Civivi Walnut in C3PO. <laughs> Kaiser Wall? Are you guys just making things up? Oh! Oh! Okay, alright, alright. I legitimately thought you were just fucking with me. I remember this. It's damn adorable. 35 bucks? Fuck, I kind of want one. N690. Ugh, hate N690. Iron Butterfly? Butter Knife? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that's that's uh pretty much hits the nail on the head there, pal. All you gotta do is come up with a sick, nasty, badass name. Funland, yeah, I agree. For short bursts, geometry's everything. But I was breaking down, like, years of big moving boxes, furniture boxes, Amazon boxes. What we did, we had everything stored in cardboard boxes. And we found, we got a bunch of totes, the big plastic totes. So I needed to get rid of literally hundreds of cardboard boxes. Hundreds. And most of them were, like, huge, those huge Home Depot moving boxes. That's what I was breaking down. And I was cutting them into little strips. So when you're cutting that much cardboard over a long period of time, edge retention does matter a lot. And you can feel it when it starts to die. I would totally buy a piss walnut. 100%, dude. I'd buy a piss walnut. Starburst, man. Funland, it got to the point. I only have two recycling bins. And even though I was cutting everything up so I could get as much in the bins as possible, after two weeks of like overflowing my recycling bins with cardboard, I was like, screw it. And I spent a whole day just burning some brush we had out back and cardboard like slices of cardboard. I was like, I'm never going to be able to recycle it all. I'm just going to burn it. <laughs> Turn it into carbon emissions. I just patented Volcano Sharp. Nice. The Tony put the on their website signed. What? Disclaimer, do not take manganese for your joints. You'll die a horrible science death. You're telling me I can't eat manganese? Look. Not manganese. Manganese. What is it? It's a trace mineral essential to our bodies in small amounts. Martin? Essential. Manganese is a coenzyme that assists many enzymes involved in breaking down carbohydrates, proteins, and cholesterol. Sorry. You'll just be fit as a damn fiddle. And that's from Harvard. From the the old pencil pushers over at Harvard. From the big brain boys. Jay Korskin, and welcome back. Jay, any update on your knife? Did I ever send you shipping number? A tracking number? Hope so. See, you gotta have it. Read the previous post, it'll make sense. The Scarab is on Blade Runner HQ. The one I got in all black. Did you see the video that Microtech posted on YouTube? They took... Whoops, they took the combat with M390 MK and stabbed it in the side of a car door. Intense. Sax Cobra with the gifted sub. Thank you, man. Gifted membership. And it goes to Chuck. Congrats, Chuck. You got a free month, Chief. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. I'll be moving, which is the reason for the question. Not sure my wife will accept moving as a great reason to buy a new knife. Sure it is. Here, I got what I got just what you need, bro. Go to Blade Bend Shop. Type in Lil Temperance. Uh-oh. And get this one. In K390. Use code TRISTATE10. You'll pay like 211 bucks, and you'll be so happy. 
You'll be so happy about it, dude. Where is mine? I want to touch it. I love it so much. I did have to Loctite my pivot. I carried it and beat the hell out of it for a few weeks, and the pivot came loose. So I did have to Loctite it, but man. Seki City, Japan. Lightweight. Carries great. Really thick, sturdy blade stock. Like, really thick. Girthy blade stock, but a full flat K390. Beautiful belt satin on it. I have beat the living shit out of this knife, and look at it. Look at it. It's perfect. And I have not even touched that edge. I probably ate through, fuck dude, I don't know, a couple hundred yards of cardboard with this. No issues. No problemo, dude. No chips, no snags. This is the knife I cut the most cardboard with when we were cleaning out the basement. And it's still like, per it's like right out of the box perfect. It's crazy. K390 does not quit. It'll just never quit. I'm sure someday it will. I've heard it can be kind of chippy, but if you're just cutting up cardboard and shit, using it like a normal EDC knife, you'll be aight. You'll be aight. That toot seemed extra echoey today. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know how it goes. But that's what you want. Code tries to 10 It's such a banger. Great action out of the box, too, because that blade's so heavy. Kinman, welcome back. I received it last week, and no, it was a surprise. No tracking. Surprise! Did, did they charge you any money for it, Jay? Because I listed the value at like 25 bucks, and I said it was a gift. As long as they didn't charge you. Josh Almighty, yeah, dude. It's amazing. And it's not all that little. Don't let the name Little Temperance scare you. It's pair of three size, dude. If anything, it's bigger than a pair of three. Whoops. Whoops. Pair of three size, dude. It's just a killer. Just an absolute slicing machine. Machine. I love it. I love it oh so very much. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus and Jehovah. I'm so pumped to show you guys this knife. I'm so pumped to show you guys this knife. I was also talking to the guys on the phone uh, yesterday. I had a phone call with the Tactile Knife Co. guys. Um, and they got some crazy shit coming down the pipe, dude. Ooh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell you about it. I mean, I can't show it to you, obviously, but they got some baller collabs in the work. Like, you're going to shit your pants when you hear about the collabs coming down the pipeline with Tactile. I'm pumped. This knife, I've been dying, dying to get my hands on a final version since I played with it last September at Maker Syndicate. Amazing. Amazing. So, I think that should be here next week, I believe. I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Two donuts for lunch. I haven't had anything to eat yet except for three Starburst. Nobody sent us lunch. Whatever. <laughs> Black Sparrow, what's up, man? I'm eating ramen for lunch. I'll probably do ramen. I'll probably just do fancy Korean ramen. Um. Why is the little temperance so expensive compared to other FR and Spydercos? First off, Seki City Japan. Seki City knives are always a little more expensive. Um, it's also a Seki City compression lock, which, like, never happens. Um, other than Tai Chung, like, Seki City does the Lord's work. Um, it's also a lot, it's a lot more knife than you think. And that is a massive chunk of K390. Heat treated to Japanese perfection. And to me, it is well worth it. Especially if you could use the code Trisay 10, 10% off. Dude, it is so worth 211 bucks. You know? It's it, it it is a lightweight knife, but it feels so solid. It feels like a little tank. Cause it is. Girthy. It's a girthy little guy. Just everything about it. Fit and finish, the grind work, the heat treat on that case, everything. Everything's just so tuned in. Well worth it. I had a hard time with the price as well until I just said screw it and bought one, and I regret nothing. Zero regrets. Zero regrets. 
Jason Reed, uh, Maker Syndicate is what it's called. I already got our tickets. It is September in Indianapolis. Um, and it is all the knives that you can never get online because they sell out too fast, all in one place. It's heaven. It's heaven on earth. It's where I got my uh, Roosevelt last year. A leaf jumper? What the fuck is that? Um, look, the leaf jumper is $200 MSRP, and it's a lockback? That's no fun. The little temperance is a compression lock, so you still get that fidgety fun of a Spyderco compression lock and that K390, baby. That's why I bought it. Uh, tickets are 50 bucks, Jason, if you're talking about uh, Maker Syndicate. Uh, are they 50 bucks? No, they might have been 75 bucks this year. I don't remember. Uh, Oz Machine Co. Something like that. Hell, I don't know. Uh, there you go. 75 bucks. Well worth it. So worth it. A lot of fun. A lot of good people. I'll be there September 15th. Sunday! Do they offer good discounts on knives? No, these are not the kind of companies to give discounts on knives. But you get the knives at retail price instead of having to deal with the secondary market or markups and all that shit. You just get them for the for the price. Does that make sense? But this list is so stacked. I mean, American Blade Works, uh, Craig Brown Knives, FSD and uh, Cortex XL, all that good stuff. Chapman Lake Knives, Matthew Christensen, Corbin Steelworks, Dimco, Utzler, freaking HMC, Holt, Keenison, Koenig. You can just buy a Koenig. You can just go buy a Koenig. Easy peasy. Machine wise, pumped. Hopefully they'll have some Sonoras there. Uh, McNeese, American, Merkin, American, NCC, Nice Guy Machine Co., Gluma, Oz, of course, they're putting the show on. Robert Carter, Rotten Designs, who never goes to shows. SDK, the guy that designed the um, Two Knife Shocker. Shark Neve Co., Skiff Made Blades, SPK, you can pick up a Lamia for like 700 bucks, it's crazy, and he usually does a special one. Tactile Knife Co., Touch Knives, dude, TRM, Triaxis, it's just, it's everyone that doesn't go to all the other shows, and it's all the knife makers that you really, that are like all grail worthy, but you can just never get your hands on a knife. They sell out too fast, you have to do a lottery and all that shit. At this show, you just walk up to the table, give them money, and they give you a knife, and it's magical. It's magical. A magical experience. I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, Indianapolis is usually pretty cheap to fly in and out of. Hotels are dirt cheap. Um, we're just driving. It's like an hour and a half drive for us. Uh, if you come to Maker Syndicate, can you get a mustache ride? Sure. Yeah. As long as when you buy your tickets, if they have a note section, put, I'm only coming because Tri-State said so. <laughs> All right? Got to let them know. You got to remind these boys at Oz. They're, they're easy to forget you. They're easy to forget about you. They qu they're quick to, to forget. Yeah, the fact that Rotten Designs is, is going to be there is wild to me. I don't. Has he ever done a show? When was the last time he did any knife show? Uh, ben, dude, you should go. It's September 15th. Right after, a week after my birthday. A week after my birthday. My birthday is the previous Saturday, the 7th. Ben Malone, I've got a CRKT I really like. I can use my pinky on the flipper so it opens in, in the stabby grip. I gotta tell you, man. I gotta tell you. Uh, those CRKTs I just reviewed, that video, it's always CRKTs. Those videos do so well. My most watched video is like 75,000 views or something like that. The, uh, isn't it? Or am I stupid? I'm probably way blowing that out of proportion. Maybe it's like 30,000. I don't know. Anyway, my most watched video was the uh, Minimal X from CRKT. Um, this video from the I'm Blown Away CRKT Obverse, the Obverse video, it's almost to 10,000 already. We're on our way to the moon, Bob. What is it with CRKTs? Holy shit, dude. I, that video might hit 100,000. It's at 79,000. Whoops. 
Oops, the chat's in the way. You can't see it. The chat's in the way. Stop! Anyway, 79,000. It's crazy. Fucking wild, man. Maybe I can do it again someday. Cole, look up the CRKT fossil. I, I know all about the CRKT fossil. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Uh... They did not charge me. Nice, dude. And you got the patches. Awesome. Anytime. They brother. did not Why? charge me. Love the patches. Thank you. Appreciate you doing that for me. Sock, 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 so J, 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 Thank you, Jay. Of course, Tinkly Bells. Jay, anytime, brother. Anytime. We got it figured out now. We got the whole international shipping thing figured out. And don't murder your phone. I just don't like this handle. What's going on here? What's going on around here? What is, what is all this? I just don't like it. I don't know. And also this edge termination. How much is it? 55 bucks. I don't know. There are a lot of knives at that price point that I'd much rather have. Yeah, no. Jesus Christ. Is that just like goop? Is that just gooped up bearings? I got an idea. Let's put some goop in the bearings. All right, that hand looks way too big. <laughs> it's a bad Photoshop job. I don't know. Just not my... F I just don't like the... Whatever they call this handle finish. I just do not like it. Like a rock finish. I gotta piss. I'm so sorry. I've been holding it. I thought I could make it. I can't make it. I can't make it. I'll be right back. Jesus, hold down the fort for me, would you? Thank you. I held that for way too long. Holy shit. That was a long one. A long bit. New channel to check out. I'm subbed. What are you out here giving? What is this? Free what is this? Free marketing day, Jesse? What the hell, man? They should only watch one channel. Mine. Uh the handle shape is whack. Yeah, I agree. Pinch grip all day. Yeah, that guy's going in for a hardcore pinch grip. Oh, dude, I just made... I fucking... You ever have one of those pisses where you're like, I'm going to overflow the bowl. I'm gonna, it's going to overflow. I'm going to flood the bathroom with piss. You ever have one of those? That was. That's what that was. You know what I mean? It, that was aggressive. That was aggressive. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Blade HQ, let's see what's new on the queue real quick. Here's your link. Boop. Ooh, uh, pre-order only. <laughs> Just release the goddamn knives. Blade HQ, huh? Release the demons. 
Ooh, 360, dude. Just for a little fixed blade. In S30V. A soft S30V. $360. I can get the Tactile Dread Eye for $199. Made with love in Texas. Or I can get fucking... I can get all anything I want. I can get so many fixed blades. I can get two fixed blades. Two good fixed blades. 360 is just stupid. It's wild to me that there's a market out there for this stuff from Benchmade. 450, huh? Made in the USA. By whom? Who's making it? Who's doing this? Uh, Jason Reed, yeah, so Oz Machine Co. puts on this show in Indianapolis. It's their show. So yes, that's where I bought my Rosie last year. Bodacious is almost 300 bucks. Yeah, I mean, but so is a shaman. How much is a shaman these days? A lot. Holy shit, a bunch of different MSIs. Whole fart load of them. I hate this. I hate this. I love the piss, though. Uh, what do we have here? Some Ocasos. Superlatives in stock. Matadors. Nice. What else you got for me? Yo, Jumbo and M4 for 180. See, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Kaiser Beyond looks interesting. Oh, the EZE 2.0. Bruh. Full tie integral. Made by Rayot. Ray Laconico design. Clean as a damn whistle. Such a violent detent. Great knife, though. In LMAX, too. The Shimon. See, look. There's a, a fancy dread eye. That's way cheaper than with the leather sheath and all. You know? I'd rather have that. More my size, anyway. Um... Invictus is cool. The Justice is pretty cool. The Kaiser Beyond's pretty sick. Interesting. Okay, 220 for... So the Bodacious is how much? Oh, 262. So it's not all that much more expensive, right? But inflation's a bitch, dude. It is what it is. How creepy would it be for Jesus to just get up and start walking around? Hey, dude, it's the thing of my nightmares. When I'm in here working, like, late at night, alone, I'll leave that, like, red light on over here. Oh, you can't see it. See this red light? I'll leave that on. The blue one comes off, but I'll just leave the red one on. And it just lights up Jesus, and I'll, I'll catch him in the reflection of the screen. Sometimes I'm like, oh! <laughs> Gets me every time. Gets me every damn time! Purple Militaw or an Artisan Boa. Ooh, Sean. You know, I gotta tell you, I think the Militaw is the better knife. The Boa is excellent. The Boa is an excellent, excellent knife. Designed by like a 17-year-old, which is just wild to me. Um, but I think, I think the Militaw is a better knife. Better value. All that good stuff. I do love the Boa, though. Jason Reed, mortgage is gonna be late this month. I would hope your mortgage is more than $75. The, sha the shaman... The shaman? The shaman is also contoured. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's the same steel that they always use. It's the same materials. Basically, the same build. The same construction. For $40 more. I don't know. That's the way of the world, man. Dude, 15V Yojimbo. I'm... They're talking about... I, I, I don't know if it's going to be this year. Knowing Spider Co., it'll probably be next year sometime. But they're going to do a sprint run uh, in 15V of the Micro Jimbo. And I'm going to be all over that. I'm going to be all over it. You understand? I don't have my, um, my Militaw anymore. I do have my Boa still. I do love the Boa. I don't know. I don't know. I think, but just my personal opinion right now, right this second, if I had to pick one, it'd be the Militol. But I do love the Boa. Don't get me wrong. They're both excellent. They're both incredible. 
Oh, you're getting a Roosevelt and an Evo? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, that's your mortgage right there, pal. Yeah, I'm going to have to sell some knives as well. I've been, I've been needing to sell some damn knives. Jesus. Hold on. Daddy needs... A little Sprite. Add a little fizz to my life. You know what I mean? I don't know why I've been craving Sprite lately. Not usually a Sprite boy. Please don't overflow. Please don't overflow. Just been in a Sprite kind of mood. What brand is the Rosie from? Um, Ro uh, The Roosevelt is from Oz Machine Co. I'll grab mine. It's buried, but I'll grab it. Whoa. Hold on, any day now. Hold on. Oh! There you go. Oz Machine Co. Roosevelt. Colloquially known as the Rosie. It's a great knife. They just announced, or they just released the XLs. I think they've shipped a few of them. Pretty sure Mike McLaughlin has one. I love it. All American made. I paid 800 bucks at the show. Stonewash on Stonewash in Magna Cut. On bearings. Detents money. Carries like a dream. This big integrated choil right here. Choke up. Hit him with the pinch grip. It's a perfect pinch grip knife. It's just dynamite. Isaiah, have a good one, man. Thanks for hanging out. Richard Rosado's got an Evo T coming. Damn. If any of you have the new Evo, I desperately want to review it. Right, but I'm just not, I'm not going to spend, I don't have 700 bucks to spend on a knife right now. You know what I mean? I just don't have it. This thing cuts like a damn dream. Full flat grind. Absolute lightsaber. Oh. <laughs> so good. Love the Rosie. It's a lot of money though. It's a little knife that costs a lot of money. So it's, it's hard to swallow. I get it. Richard, you have three Rosies? Jesus Christ, dude. Why? <laughs> yeah, I played with the XL Rosie prototype at uh, at this show last year at the uh, Maker Syndicate. It was a good time. Point me in the direction to buy a knife from you. I'm looking right now, literally right now. Are you talking to me? Like, I need to sell some knives. I do. I do. I need to figure out what I'm going to sell, though. All my budget knives, I'm just going to do those weekly giveaways on Tuesday till we hit 12K. Um, just because I have a bunch of little dinky knives laying around that can go to a better home. Was it hard to get at Makers? Yeah, I waited in line for, like, the first two hours I was there. It's a lot of li lines. It's a lot of lines. It's like Disney World. Edgy Blaze, what's up, man? It's, um, you know, no more than, well, it's interesting. So the big Blade shows, everybody's pretty well spread out. But at Maker Syndicate, man, everybody was in line to get a Rosie. This is last year. Um, they weren't quite making as many as they are now. Um, but, yeah, I got in the door, went straight to, in, to the line for this, and, uh, I asked him what the cheapest one was <laughs> after about two and a half hours waiting in line. So you do kind of have to decide, you know, which booth you're going to first. You got to be ready. You got to find that booth and go there. If you want a mini Arius, you got to be there. You can't, you're, you're not going to be able to get both. I had some ideas that I was going to be able to get both. No. I could have gotten this and a Lamia though. I just ran out of money. You know how it goes. Ben Malone, just go, dude. Just go. You get to handle and play with knives that you, like, otherwise will just have to buy online. Like, even if you don't buy anything at Maker Syndicate, it's just so cool to handle these knives from these, like, from, like, makers at the top of their game right now. Brandon Hart, I wouldn't worry too much. Even after two and a half hours in line for the Rosie, he still had Lamia's left. And I think they were like 725. 
And they were in K390. They were full flat ground, uh, belt satin, K390 Lamias on bearings. And I wanted one so bad. I just did not have the money. <laughs> Can't have it all. You know. A uh, bunch of cubes in stock. That is wacky tobacco. What the hell? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, God, the Sprite. Help, the bubbles. Ooh, you know who we haven't checked in a while? Econives. Rosies are very expensive. Yes, they are. Like I said, this was the cheapest one. Whoa, whoa, I threw it on the ground. This is the cheapest one they had at the show, and it was $800. So, price only went up from there. But I don't regret it. I love it. I love it to death. Um, new arrivals. Had to make a phone call about a job, but I'm back. Welcome back. Steve-O. Dude, the sigil. Not the sigil, the cipher. The sigil's the folding version, and I want one. Is there anything new here? Anything at all, please? Something new, please? We haven't checked in ages. No. Nope. Small and cozy. No news. No news, boo. He snowed in his pants. Got him. I don't know how to do that. How does one snow in their pants? Um, what about DLT? Bet I guarantee you it's Medford's. <laughs> Show me Medford's. Hey, Griffin Scouts. Nice. P in piss? <laughs> well, I'll be dipped. Damn, it got dark outside. Jesus. I'll be dipped. Cool knife. I reviewed it. Um, little guy. But 250 is not bad. In Magna Cut, too. All right. Okay. In stock. Here you go. Here's a DLT link for you. Why not? Hit him with the DLT. Got an affiliate link. If you're ever shopping anywhere, hit my links first. I really appreciate it. It, it helps tremendously. Palmer Conley, what's up, man? Good to see you. Tracy, do you have a blue tick coming your way? They look pretty sick. Just pre-ordered one from W White Mountain Knives. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Blue tick? Is that some kind of disease? Oh, 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 oh. The Civivi blue tick. I forgot that's what it's called. The Keenison one. Yeah, I played with it at Blade Show, Texas. Uh, day two, I think. Yeah, it's cool. Of all the new Civivis coming in, though, this was like my fourth favorite. This wasn't even in the top three. This is fourth favorite. The new one from Wear Knives, the Nugs, and, um, oh, shit. What was the other one? The Brian Brown collab. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> please and thank you. Uh, anyway, that's sick. 250 is really not a bad price. They're made really well. Um, I just, here's my issue with it. It's the pocket. It's the pocketed flicking slot instead of a, a full cut through. This knife would be so good with a full cut through. That, that pocket's just not deep enough for my little sausage fingers, dude. I need to be able to get in there and pop that blade out. I can't do that with the stupid little groove. Give me a hole. Give a man a hole for Christ's sake. But it's a great knife. I just, it bugged me. A ton of different versions. Holy shit. Ooh. What's the difference? Why is this one so much more expensive? Hello? Three and a half inch? Oh, so they're making a big boy? And what's the difference between F2? Hello? Oh, it's tiny. Oh my God. It's teeny tiny. This is in like teeny tiny. Okay. Don't, well, if you want a teeny tiny knife, go for it. 250 bucks. This is, I handled the three and a half inch, I believe. Maybe it was an F3. Maybe it was a three inch. I don't remember, but I remember it being pretty small. Interesting. All right. So damn near 400 bucks. That kind of changes my tune a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that, boys. What do we got? Five minutes left? 
All right. I don't even remember what I reviewed. You guys are going to have to go back. $257? Were they hand-blown with love? How much does this Marfione custom badge cost? That's got to be 150 of it. And the box is another 100 So that leaves $7. For a couple of Glen, Glen Cairns. Are we kidding? You joshing me? A brandy snifter. Three and a half inch. Exactly, Ed. It's all you need. It's all you need. Ben Malone. He, what do you mean? He carries his knife outside. Stop. 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 What are you saying? What do you say? Like, okay, hold on. You guys can't see. Let me let me tilt you down a little bit. So pocket, pocket. You're telling me. You're telling me he carries his knife like this? Like that? Is this something people do? I would lose my knife immediately. Instantaneous. It would just vanish into the ether and I would never see it again. Are you kidding me? That's some sociopathic behavior. Roger. Steve Castellar and how you doing, man? Good to see you. Tell us more about the low about your low key acumen and escapades. Well, maybe someday. <laughs> Alright, nothing else new, but you know, teeny tiny, kind of a normal size knife. 380's a bit much, but if you're gonna buy one, DLT, I got an affiliate link down below. Tony Marfione seems like the kind of guy. Knives fast. Yeah, dude. I go live for three hours, three times a, three times a week. Contractors all day, every day. <laughs> why? Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. <laughs> that is a, some absurd behavior. Uh, Best Tech does make these. You are correct. I think you are correct. 380's a bit much, man. That's pushing it. You're, it's pushing it a bit for me, personally. All Medfords. Yeah, imagine that. Um, who else? Who else do I need to look at? What's new on Kaiser's website? Price kind of changed my mind. Yeah, 380's a bit much, bro. Hey, the Militol, the plain old Militol's back in stock. Again, here's a Kaiser link for you. Recommend, man. 160 all day long. They run sales a lot, so keep an eye out. Um, also, the Banish. I absolutely love this thing. It's just the cutest little thing. What do I do with it? It's so tiny, I lost it. I don't... Excuse you? Hello? Mersault, welcome to the Stubble Club, man. Tinkly Bells. Thank you, sir. I don't know where it's at, but I love the Banish. It's just adorable. Just a little cutie patoot. 2.3 inch? So you're telling me the Banish is bigger than the F2? Is that what I'm picking up here? 2 inch blade. 5 inches overall. Where's the dick ruler at? 5 inches seems pretty decent. <laughs> Bust out the old dick ruler here. Five inches seems decent, right, guys? There it is. How big is the Banish? Oh, okay. So the Banish is um, right about five and a quarter. About five and a quarter. Eh, five and three-eighths. Five and three-eighths. So, yeah. You're telling me this $250 knife is smaller than this. And this is tiny. This is teeny tiny, dude. Here's a pair of three. Teeny tiny. I say get the Banish over the Scout for sure. ATK, what's up, man? 45 bucks versus 250 bucks. I know which one I'm getting, personally. <laughs> personally. Uh, Veratus is in stock. Nice. And the Blacked Out Veratus. Nice. I kind of want to check this out. A little piece of me is like intrigued i hate a recurve though i really don't like it 
I really don't like it. Is it that time? 2.45, that's our time, kids. That's our time. Uh, I love you all. Thank you to everybody that watched both this stream and the previous stream. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, live stream Sunday morning. Is Sunday Easter? Easter Sunday. We'll have a, a, a we'll have church service Easter Sunday right here at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, new video. Channel members, you can already watch it, but that goes live at 4, maybe 4.30 for everybody else. Best channel on YouTube. Josh, I agree. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Um, excuse me, but that is it. I gotta eat something. I gotta get food in this belly. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna have, but I'll figure it out. Probably some ramen, because I got a shitload of it. Yeah, I know. But that is it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks, everybody, the donated channel members, Patreon members. I love you guys. You're the best. Use those links. Use that Amazon link, please. Use it. Here it is. One more time. Use that Amazon link. It really helped me out. Even if you're just buying stupid stuff, use it. It all helps. It all adds up. Let's get try to say a little bonus. Get, help me get a little bonus. I'm trying to get a bonus from old from Daddy Jeff Bezos. I'm trying to get that Bezos bonus. But that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Get out of here. Get back to work, you filthy, dirty, lazy boy. You're not.